Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marte. I come from Norway and I love makeup. And today I'm really excited because I created a custom palette based on the artwork on a tarot card that I felt inspired by. And the tarot card is from the beautiful Santa Muerte tarot deck, which is right here. I bought this especially for the fall season and I've had it for a few months and I've had the time to look through it a little bit. And I just chose a card that I felt really inspired by. Uh, and I will show you the card later, of course. And the eyeshadow palette that I created is a nine pan uh, color story. So I will just show you that so you can see if you're interested in this video or not. But I love this color story, it's so beautiful. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm going to show you the swatches. And while I do that, I will read from the explanation book or whatever you call it that comes with a tarot deck uh, says about the card. and. Um, show you the card and then I did this look right here with a lot of the shades from the palette so if you're interested in seeing all that then please keep on watching so the card that I chose is this beautiful card right here it is the moon card and you can see that there is a person right here that is looking in her reflection in what looks like a tiny lake or a big pond or something and you can see the reflection of the moon and it's really cool because you can see the reflection of this person as well but it's like the reflection is her skeleton so it's very interesting and mystical and I just love the vibes of this card it's so pretty so I'm just going to show you guys the palette that I created to fit the colors of this card. So here you can see a close-up of the card and the palette. I have some really gorgeous shifty shades in here, some of which look almost a little bit like the moon reflection because they are duochrome with a purple base like this one. And then you also have all the reflections and some of the deeper purples of course. And you also have a little bit of the warmer tones that you see more in the bottom of the card right here in this multi-chrome, which you can't really see right now, but you will see that in the swatches. So I'm going to show you the guys the swatches of these shades and I'll let the names of each shadow be on the screen as I swatch them. And I will just read what this card means. The moon, the female and maternal archetype par excellence. The moon brings with it receptiveness, intuition, the power of the imagination, ideals, but also mysteries and secrets. It is the card of the subconscious and of dreams, capable of revealing and overcoming the illusion of existence. The moon's reflection is captured in water, from the tranquility of a lake to the sacred enclosure of a chalice, its essence whole and true. The reverse of this can, however, bring prejudices, isolation or the keeping of secrets that are too heavy, leading to confusion and madness. And then all of the cards have an advice of the dead. So the advice of the dead for the moon card is trust your intuition, but continue to listen and to observe what surrounds you to discern its true nature. the whole palette swatched out and I really like this color story. I feel like the shimmers are all so gorgeous and you can make a little bit of a variation with purple in most of the looks unless you want something very light with the minty and the light blue shades. So as usual I am showing you guys with some flashlight on the shadows so you can really see the colors of that more iridescent one from Luxie. I will leave all the names 
down in the description box in the order I have swatched them. This one from Tami Tanuka did not swatch very well, but I know that they're super pigmented, so I'm not really worried about that. And then Shattered Stars from Terra Moon series, <laughs> just so, so stunning. It's so much prettier than you would imagine looking at it in the pan, because it just has so many beautiful shifts. It's really pretty. And then I just love these kind of colors together, the lilac with the mint. And of course a deeper purple to deepen up a look. I think it might actually even work with the mint because it's a little bit more of a, I don't know, cool toned purple, but I'm not sure. And then this one is very interesting. It is, I think it's called Kiwi. So I looked it up and yes, it is Kiwi Purple is the name of the shadow from Glam Shop right here. And that green shift is so stunning and I'm trying to use more satin duochrome shades like this so I'm excited to have this in the palette. Of course this one is from Luxie Beauty. It's just such a vibrant vibrant purple and it's so amazing. And then it's a new multichrome from Glam Shop in the bottom here called Crazy. And the shift is really crazy on this one actually. It's like a super super vibrant purple but then you go through gold and orange and then I think it's green, yeah? And almost blue. <laughs> it's just super pretty. So yeah, I'm really excited about this color story. So now I will show you how I did the look that you saw in the intro using this palette. That was the close-up of course of the look and I really like how it turned out. These colors aren't the, my personal favorite on me but I love this color story and I just can't get enough of it even though it's not what I prefer on my skin tone and with my eye but, but it's still really really beautiful <laughs> and I was really happy to see because I haven't really t tried out any of the new Terra Moon shadows that I ordered and I can totally make a video on them because I ordered quite a few of the more uh, shinier ones. I think it's from last fall actually <laughs> and uh, my lovely friend Julia K. Marsh on Instagram also gifted me a bunch of them so I do actually have, I don't know, maybe 12, 15 of those 
um, and I really like them. It's just that they are a little bit deep for what I prefer on the eye, but this one is one of the slightly lighter ones. So Julia was really good at picking out the best ones for me because the ones I picked up are a little bit deeper and I haven't really reached for any of those. <laughs> but yeah, I, I really like this color story and from where I see it right now, it looks so stunning because I can see the green in this one. I can see the blue and I can see all the shifts in all of these other ones. And I just get so happy looking at this and I feel like it fits so perfectly to the tarot card and what I read from the book because it's a little bit mystical and I don't know, the colors just made me feel very inspired and inspiration is always welcome. <laughs> so yeah, please let me know what you think about the card. I think it's such a beautiful card and what you thought of the colors that I picked out, the shadows that I chose with the mattes and the shimmers. Is this something you would have used? Is it a little bit too bright or what do you actually think of it? Um, yeah, and if you're interested in seeing more kind of videos like this where I just choose the cards because before I've just drawn them um, kind of randomly and then created a color story but I do have a lot of beautiful cards from this deck and from a lot of other tarot decks and the art is just so pretty and I would love to make some custom palettes with that. I might just do more of that but I would really like to know if you want to see more of that because then it gives me a little bit more of a push to actually do it. So I hope that you liked the video. If you did, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye.